So you just picked up Marauders, got into your first raid, and realized that there's no map in the game. There's no minimap, no map whatsoever. You have no idea what to do, where to go, and you're down on your last kit. What's going on guys, my name is Tychus, and if this sounds like your experience with Marauders, then I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to be giving my top 10 tips for beginners who are just starting out in Marauders. Hopefully newer players will find these tips useful and uh, help you get uh, more successful raids along the way. So without further ado, let's get straight into the list with number one. Remember your airlock. This is the only way that you're going to be able to get back to your ship once you have docked it into the space station, the asteroid mine, the terraformer, whatever. If you entered a docking station in Marauders in one of your maps in your, way, in your raid, you are going to have to remember your airlock. If you do not remember your airlock, you're not going to be able to get back to your ship. There are, of course, other ways of, you know, exiting, um, exiting the map or ex exiting the, um, the, the station, so to speak, right? You can take somebody else's, uh, captain's card or their key card and try to find their airlock and, um, uh, take their ship. But the best thing to do, and what I suggest is that once you enter the raid, make sure you turn around at your airlock and look up at what your airlock number is right it's either a number um or it can be a letter or a combination of both uh as you can see here it's the library one so make sure you remember your airlock number in order to get back to your ship the second way of kind of figuring out where to go uh, or where your airlock is located if you look at the bottom right hand sorry bottom left hand corner of the map there are coordinates and the second you step out of your airlock, um, you can basically either jot down or just remember in your head, remember the coordinates on the lower left corner. So no matter where you go in your map, you can kind of basically head towards um, that coordinate and basically find your way back to your airlock. So yeah, that's tip number one. So moving on to tip number two, Tip number two would have to be slow your roll. You might be used to shift Wing uh, in other games, but you find yourself, you know, getting killed and Marauders doing that. Movement in this game is a lot slower than that of, you know, for example, like Call of Duty. Um, it's not as slow or as heavy with inertia as like Escape from Tarkov or something like that. But I would say it's somewhere along the, the middle. Once you've got into the game, there's really no mini map in the game at all, right? There's no map period in the game at all. So the game tends to lend itself closer to more of a more of a like tactical shooter. Um, at least, you know, in, in my opinion, it, it's it's much more of a slower paced uh, game. At least it it favors that more. Like people can actually lean and hold corners um, and hold angles a lot better. With versus you know someone just kind of like running by and trying to slide jump and slide shoot you like that's definitely not the gameplay uh the gameplay style of marauders like i said it it does lend itself well to more of a tactical shooter and that's also because of the audio in the game as well too right so audio in the game will give you all the information that you need to make the right decisions um sprinting and stomping around raises your audio significantly higher than someone who is walking and cross walking so if you do find yourself dying a lot, try to slow it down, you know, like take it slow, move into an area, um, sit there for a minute, listening to your surroundings before you make a decision. So that's tip number two. So moving on to tip number three, tip number three would have to be use your headphones. And I'm not talking about equipping your like your Marauder with Comtax or GSSH or anything like that. I'm talking about you as a player in real life. I know some of you prefer to use speakers out there but seriously put on some headphones or put on some earbuds whatever is more comfortable to you um, as i mentioned previously audio is literally everything you need to succeed in this game the directional audio works very well in this game in letting you know what side your enemy is approaching either they're approaching from the left side or approaching from the right side everything in this game makes a sound right it's not as intricate as something as like hunt showdown or something like that but everything does have an audio cue and learning those audio cues like something as simple as your opponent opening the door or maybe they're looting a box or a bag or a cabinet each one of those 
uh, actions have a sound cue um, relating to it. You know, healing like bandages, right? Reloading and so much more. Imagine if you can hear your opponent, you know, using their bandages or reloading. Then you can make the decision, hey, my opponent is reloading. I can push them and, you know, take them out. Of course, that is just a very simple example of something that, that you know, can legitly happen in the game. But yes, tip number three is use your headphones. Moving on to tip number four. Tip number four would have to be map knowledge. Yes, if you've ever played Escape from Tarkov, you know how important this is for surviving your raids. So not only do you need to know where to go, but you also need to know how to get back to your airlock to essentially escape from the raid. Focus on learning how to traverse through the map without getting lost. I'm not talking about learning every single cheeky angle in the game or in the map. I'm not talking about, you know, finding all the parkour spots that you can, you know, get on top of things and and shoot people from uh, from far away and stuff like that. Unexpected areas. Um, I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about just literally learning the basics of traversing through the map to the point where you're not second guessing yourself of where you are within the specific map. Um, the great thing about Marauders is that in the game, the maps are a lot smaller. I would say that they're kind of similar to the factory map in Tarkov, but maybe slightly bigger. Um, so it's a lot easier to learn and it's a lot easier to uh, remember. I'm sure eventually that there's going to be a third party website, something like Map Genie or something like that, that's going to have all the maps like detailed out with all the loot locations um all the escape pods all the airlocks all the enemy spawns etc etc but as of right now just focus on learning the map and just get comfortable with the map to the point where you can traverse it with ease and that's going to put you in a better place um over your other players who have no idea where they're going pretty much okay moving on to tip number five tip number five would have to be have a mission now what do i mean by that i don't i'm not talking about task i'm not well actually i kind of am talking about tasks but what I mean is each one of your raids that you enter is going to have a time limit. Currently, raid timers are about 25 minutes. Um, although 25 minutes does sound like a significant amount of time in your raids, you're going to notice that your your time literally will fly, fly by in your raids. Say, for example, you enter a fresh raid and, and then you decide to take on a dogfight with another player. You know, you breach his ship, you kill him, uh, then you decide to take his ship and then go into the docking station only to find out that hey you only have 10 minutes left in your raid and you don't have much time to complete your mission so my main point is focus on the task at hand right have a mission focus on whatever it is you need to do if it's go in there and kill i don't know like seven or eight raiders right go in there and focus on your task focus on completing your task get that task done and don't let other things distract you so you have to really take in consideration the time it takes to fly your ship from your docking station all the way to the extract as well, right? There's animation times in the airlock. There's animation times in your escape pod. There's animation times in pulling down the periscope. There's there's animation times for a lot of things where you think you're going to have a lot of time to make it to the extract. You're only going to find yourself basically suffocating out there, right? Here it's called oxygen timer basically you're, you're basically gonna end up mia so make sure you focus on your task have a mission traverse through the map get your task done get in and get out okay moving on to tip number six tip number six would have to be ditch your ship if you went into the raid with your rust bucket which is the free ship that you get every single raid it spawns every time sometimes it's best to just ditch the ship and extract with an escape pod. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten really, really good loot. And instead of risking the travel time back to my airlock, which, you know, I could run into other players, I could run into AI who can who can take me out. Instead, I've just gotten to the escape pod, which is located inside a station. I'm not sure if all of the uh all of the maps have an escape pod located inside of the uh inside of the station or the asteroid mine or a terraformer but there are maps where they do have it and i have gotten high value loot and i've used those escape pods instead of running all the way back to my airlock and risking 
you know, risking the, the travel time and risking taking on the fights and stuff like that, basically risking dying. So I've just taken the escape pod and just basically extracted with the escape pod. There are maps that have like pretty high loot. Um, I'm talking about like the merchant ship and the commando ship. Like those are only available to you by breaching them. And then you can only get out of there by escaping from an escape, uh, escape pod as well, right? I've ditched my, my ship so many times is going into those ships, looting as much as I can, and just getting out as fast as possible. Um, plus, you know, the great thing about being in an escape pod is that you, you're not able to be breached by other players. Um, if you're in your ship, there's a chance of, you know, getting breached on the way out to extract. Yes, you can get shot down in your escape pod, but I find that uh, the escape pod is pretty nimble and it, it maneuvers really well, and it gets you out of harm's way pretty easily too. Plus, it has that little boost um, a little booster that moves you, moves you pretty quickly. Okay, moving on to tip number seven. Tip number seven would be toolkits. Yes, if you find a toolkit in your raids, I suggest you hightail out of there as soon as possible. You're gonna notice that in your stash base, um, it's it's not that big. It's quite limited actually, right? The, your your stash base is gonna fill up very very quickly with loot. Uh, just after like a few raids of, of extracting um, with, with a lot of loot the best way in the beginning if you're an early player the best way to extend your extend expand sorry expand your stash base is to craft a small container in the early game this container requires three syn synthetic scraps two metal scraps and a toolkit later on of course you're going to be able to unlock the uh the large storage container and give you more space and then if you're if you're you're super super chat about it you know and, and you level up all the way and you complete complete all your tasks then you can basically prestige to expand your um spend a prestige point to expand your stash base even more but of course that is that's ultra late game right so make sure you guys keep an eye out on toolkits um if you find one early game make sure you guys extract with that because that's basically how you're gonna expand your your stash base uh, during the early games okay moving on to tip number eight tip number eight would be commando ships and merchant ships i would highly recommend breaching into these ships when they do spawn on your map a lot of people will end up focusing on heading towards the the center of the map which is the point of interest it's either the space station the asteroid mine terraformer the prison whatever what so have you because those maps tend to have the i guess i should call them stations right Anyways, people will, will focus on going into the stations earlier because the task will revolve around, you know, the, the maps instead. So not a lot of people in the beginning, in the early game, kind of go into the commando ship and the uh, the merchant ship. Most of the times, every single time that I have entered these ships, they are literally untouched. Like no one has entered any of these, um, any of these ships. Uh, at least, like I said, early on, um, the commando ship itself is filled with AI that have high tier armor and weapons. The AI in in um, the AI commandos are pretty easy to take down as well, right? I mean, I've gotten like really high tier loot. If, if, if you can see uh, in the background there, I've gotten the red uh, the red level nine armor rig and the level seven helmet from from the commandos there. So they do drop really really high tier loot. Uh, also, the merchant ship is also one of those. Like, I know there's an early task to, to go there and kill some security guards, but not a lot of people go all the way towards the end. If you reach the very end, the bridge of the ship, there is an armory there, right? And that armory contains a lot of high value, um, high value weapons, high value armor, and there is a there's a safe there too. So make sure if you do go into a raid. And you expect there to be a merchant ship. I know you can't really expect it. It's kind of random. But I would say just bring a, a lockpick just in case, right? Because that lockpick is going to allow you to pick that, pick open that safe. And that safe can contain coins. It can contain um, war bonds. It can contain intel items. All of which are like high, high, high value loot that can be sold at you know a very high price towards the traders. Okay, so that's tip number eight. So let's move on to tip number nine. Tip number nine would be take the W learn to take the w and don't let the greedy little goblin take you over you're gonna notice that in marauders you don't have a lot of loot space as well right the first backpack that you get is 
I believe it's called the small sack, but it really doesn't have a lot of space at all. It literally can fit one or two large items and that is it. Um, sure, there are some rigs out there that are going to give you a few more pockets, but it's really not that big. So prioritize your loot, extract with what you have, because chances are you're not going to have enough space to to take the extra loot that is in the other room anyway. So take the W, get out with your loot and take the win. All right, guys. So moving on to the last tip in the video is this tip number 10. It is going to be zero to hero. No, I'm not talking about the uh, the quest tracker called Zero to Hero. I'm, I'm talking about going from absolute bottom of the pit, zero money, zero gear, and walking out and looking like a, a kitted chad. So in Marauders, every time you spawn into a raid uh, with no gear or significantly low gear, because I've, I've seen it spawn with, you know, like low gear as well, um, there will always be a 9mm pistol and some ammo and a chest rig near the cockpit on a stand um in your ship i've personally like legit gone into raids with with just this kit like it's a i guess you could call it like a pistol run right i've gone into my raids naked with just this kit and i've taken full advantage of it and i've really gotten some really really uh high tier loot out of my raids because of just going in there with a uh, with a pistol and in this kit I, I take full advantage of this just because you know I, I'm still learning the I'm still learning the map I'm still learning the game and trying trying to get used to it and I don't want to take so much risk so this is actually a perfect way to actually go in there and just you know you, you're not risking anything actually you know because I mean this kit is free anyway so you can go in there try to learn the map you can die as much as you want you can you can take on as much fights as you want and you have the 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 chance of actually walking out with a lot of gear if you can take down your opponents right so in one of my raids uh in one of my recent raids i was actually able to take down somebody who was like a giga chat right like i mean my man was literally wearing the commando level 9 armor and the level 7 welder's helmet that you see in the stash base that i have right here but yeah so take full advantage of it if you if you have gear fear or something like that just go in there naked and because you you're gonna end up with a pistol and and a rig anyways right so you shouldn't really have any gear fear in this game i mean this you how you're always going to have a free kit so take advantage of it use it however you want do pistol runs do a zero to hero run learn the maps do whatever you want with it but anyways guys those are my top 10 tips for beginners who are just getting into marauders if you guys have other tips that i may have missed please Feel free to share them in the comments below for everyone else to see. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.